through the history now. Uh, Dramora was originally, before Imperial Settlement, an Elder Homeworld, or a Maiden World as there's sometimes classification. It was unlike it is now, it had lo rich in vegetation, life, water, everything. It was a, a basically a haven. Uh, it was then discovered by the Imperium during the Great Crusade. The Lost Legion Strike Force 027, which will later on become the Angels of Dramora, was deployed to take the world. The Order actually fought and managed to hold back the Imperial advance onto the planet. So much so that the Astarte commander at the time of the Lost Legion decided to bait the a sustained attack would just keep wearing down forces and it wasn't worth it. So they but did a planet um, scourge across the planet. Basically, think like a giant laser lance and they just burned the surface of the planet. Because the Imperium at the time knew they could artificially, through terraforming or whatnot, bring the planet on. So they didn't really give a, ki give a monkeys of what they killed. So they burned the planet. Millions and billions of Eldar died in that attack. Uh, one of the things is, on the craft worlds today, the psychic screams of the dead Eldar still haunt their minds. So to Eldar, Dramora is a proper, you know, sore point. So that's something for you Eldar players. After that, they landed on the planet and then started rebuilding and terraforming under Imperial occupation. As we know, Dramora built up, the Hive Cities built up, sadly also the Horus Her Heresy kicked in and a warp storm erupted which then blocked off the Lost System from the rest of the Imperium. This had a, a good and a bad point. Bad point is the Lost Dramora and the rest of the Lost System was out the loop with Imperium. They were stuck on this Heresy point, uh, the tech level Heresy. You might say the Imperium hasn't changed that much but things through their religion and st stuff like that you know they have changed with the codex the marines do change you know a lot uh, but the good point was obviously they're one of the few worlds that was left alone and protected from the heresies so no major damage actually managed to keep growing where everything got destroyed and then they had to start again they just kept going uh, as we know, with the rest of the system, the contact was made just before the 13th Black Crusade. Um, basically, the Dramora, Angels of Dramora were located, um, and they were put brought back into the fold of Imperial of the Codex Asartes, should I say. Uh, but with the Black Crusade, also the Imperium hasn't made much use of the Lost System yet and hasn't been able to take supplies or forces over there because the Black Crusade really hitting the Imperial resources for six. So the loss system is still pretty much out there and alone. And then in 012.M42, a Tyranid Hive Fleet by the name of Hydragora, or nicknamed the Dead Fleet, that's my army, slammed an Imperial vessel into the spaceport near Dramora Primus. The Dead Fleet now lays siege on Dramora Primus and the Angels of Dramora are standing strong against them. Now that is the current history to now. Um, second what I'll do now, so if you want to get involved with the Dramora fight when the campaign comes up, that'll be cool. Uh, as I said, this is the only planet out of the lot. Oh no, sorry, Kazuya Janagi is another one that has had fighting previously by my gaming group. So what, most of that background, you know, well you've been watching those, the background on my channel unfolding. Uh, if you're going to model Dramora, now you have two options. You can do uh, like the, the usual desert world with uh, industrial installations all put in and around the place. Um, you know, if, if you think about it, think um, Red Faction, Mars. It would look like that. You know, the miners will have crappy um, shelters. As well, and obviously you can build like on cross on walls like bits of the, like the wall of a higher city. You know, you've got there, yeah, you've got quicksand oceans. Now, come on, for dangerous terrain, how cool would that look? If we could, I suppose you could burn foam into almost like a wave effect, and then then put sand over the top. I don't know, make it like a lighter shade to the rest of it. That would look quite cool. Um, and then 
also you can do Space Hulk games because it's a tyranny thing inside the Hive cities. So the you actual know, Underhive, you have the corridors set of represent a Space Hulk, represent an Underhive corridors. So there's a lot of possibilities here for your games. So uh, yeah, that is the planet Dramora. Uh, I'll be doing the next parts on the next planets. Thank you for watching.